Yeah, yeah. Even like at the home, at my house, you know, they hardly ever talked about religion, you know. So, and like, you know, this is where I, I, I made a comment in my uh, article, I guess, that uh, Muslim parents should talk to their kids about religion. So many times, these kids, they grow up, especially in the ones today, you know, may Allah guide them, and, and they, they have no clue about religion. Either, well, you know, it's, what are the parents doing? It's their responsibility to teach the kids, you know? So you've got to get them while they're young. Even if you don't, you miss the chance while they're young. You have to try, you know? You, you can't just leave them. Um, yeah, I mean, like I had, I had questions about everything, you know, like uh, universal life and whatever. You, what do you call it? I mean, sometimes I might ask my parents, you know, they wouldn't give me any answers, you know. Um, and I made another comment here that, uh, again, with the answers, you know. Muslims out there, especially uh, those born into Muslim families, you guys are so lucky. You know, you guys, you don't know, you don't even know what you have, man. You don't even know what you have. You got the only religion with all the answers. Do you, you, you understand? You understand? Like all the answers. Like man, you don't know how. Oh man, it's like it's like torture to be in a place without answers, you know. Of course, like the you know the really important stuff, like the meaning of life and stuff. Um, actually, I didn't mention it there, but one time I asked my dad, I think, what's the meaning of life? You know what he said? He said, forty-two. I'm thinking, what, what's that? Like, 42 years? Wow, what, what's 42? And, and turns out that it's from some movie. What's that movie? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's it. 42. Oh, apparently the story goes that uh, these guys, they built this supercomputer and they wanted to find out the meaning of life and this computer could do any equation or whatever and they put in the computer, you know, like what's the meaning of life it took like a billion years or whatever and it came out with the number 42 and they're like, well what's that? and so they put in the question, you know, what's the, what, 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 what does 42 mean? and then it goes for another billion years and just before it's finished or something the, the universe explodes or something, I, I don't know ridiculous story but that's the ridiculous answer I got 42 yeah, <laughs> 42, 42, what 42, you know, what's 42 going to do? Um, by the way, I think it's, I think it's important to point out that I used to ponder a lot about everything. You see that? 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 You see those eyes, man? These uh, panda eyes, you might call them, or, you know, like, as um, I got tormented in high school for, for being stoned because of these eyes, man. It's because, I think it's because I spent a lot of time at night just sitting there, thinking. Thinking about stuff, man. Like, what's this all about? You know, you know how many times I've thought about what happens after you die? So many times. I had no idea. Yeah? Like, what, what happens after you die? I just sit there and think, and I'll be like, Ooh, what? What is it? Oh, what is it? Oh, uh, man, you know, it, uh, you know, it's enough to keep you awake at night. That's, that's basically it. Uh, so then, I move on to high school. Uh, I guess that's my first contact with Islam, really. I mean, I might have seen Arabs on the street or something and heard them speaking Arabic and... To be honest, I got a little scared, you know. Because of that Ayn, you know, the Ayn, it's, it's very harsh. 
for, for a non-Arab, you know. It's like people, and also the like the way they talk, you know. It's like they they they, they want to kill each other, but they're just having a conversation, you know. Arabs, I mean, funny man. I love Arabs, you know. They're they're, they're really good. Uh, thank God for Arabs, huh? Uh, but we're 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 all equal, you know. Just so you know, and, and the only difference between us is taqwa, uh, uh, consciousness or fear of Allah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, in year seven, you know, you know, what I thought my the point of life was. I thought it was to be cool. That was my meaning of life at that time. To be cool. Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah. I failed at that, man. I failed. You know, like I didn't break into the popular kids, and to be honest, I wasn't even trying. But still, I wanted to be cool, and. You know, like what, what what you think the meaning of life is? It's gonna affect how you feel, you know, and you know how how you act as well. And so what happened is in year seven, I didn't know much, but there's this Indonesian guy, man. May Allah, may Allah reward him because I I I I, I am practically everything to him, you know, and and you know he's Muslim. I didn't know. It. And there's this other Aussie guy, may Allah reward him as well, because, you know, both the efforts they did a lot, mashallah. Uh, and this, this Aussie guy, he, he accepted Islam in year seven. Year seven, you know. Make, make dua for this brother, because he is so, you know, year seven man, year seven. Allah Akbar. Like, that's, that's the time when you're thinking about, you know, um, Playstations and bicycles and I don't know skateboards and something like this. Not not thinking about God and whatever. So you know he kicks our ass. Sorry, I shouldn't say ass. I should censor that. Yeah. Um. Uh, actually, man, I've got to go now. You know, I'll finish this later, inshallah. Um. Uh, and because I've got to make iftar at some at the kingdom. Okay, so inshallah, finish this and yeah, finish the day.